guys. So this is my first video of the year that I could finally do outside. Um, this is going to be one of the many videos that uh, myself and Tiptoe Chick will be posting about Beltane coming up on the 30th or the 1st of this week, whichever one you look at it. Um, and so today I am going to show you guys how to make a maypole. Now the maypole uh, normally is, my guess, is a pole, like an actual full-size pole, um, with a wreath up top. And since Beltane is all about fertility, hi, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> since Be Beltane is all about fertility and love, um, the actual pole itself represents the male genitalia, whereas the wreath up top or at the base, whatever, wherever they put it. Uh, represents the female genitalia. And so you also, um, and coming off of the top of the pole, you, uh, sorry, it's, it's Piper's first um, outside adventure and so she's like all over the place. But um, anyway, so coming off the top of the pole, you have ribbons and Traditionally, you have a group of people, um, whether it be a coven or um, the community getting together to celebrate, and everybody takes one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody takes one of the ribbons, and they do a dance winding in between and underneath each other, and it ends up braiding the ribbon all the way down to the base of the pole where they tie it, and that is a sim symbolic representation of fertility and, and bringing all, fertility to all kinds of different aspects of life for this season. And so while a lot of us would love to go to somewhere that has a full-size maypole, most of us either don't have that in our area or we're solitary. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys or show you guys how to make your own little miniature may maypole um, to represent fertility in your house. Now these are very, very, very easy. I actually posted one on the one that I started on Facebook. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys what I did. Now, you'll want to get some supplies. Um, I kind of went a little overboard at Joe and Fabrics, but um, you'll want to get a wooden dowel. Now, I got a pack of these for $1.99. There was four of them that came in a pack. And then you'll want to get yourself a base. This was, I think, 99 cents. Um, it didn't come pre-drilled. We drilled a hole in it. But there are squares, circles, stars, um, whatever you want to put as your base. Of course, I'm witchy, so I want to do a star. Um, but get those. And then you'll want to get your ribbons. Um, you can go... Now, these I got there, I think these are $2 per ribbon container. Um, and each ribbon, there's 20 feet of each ribbon, so you can either go like the darker colors or, whoops, for mine I went the more, oh, they're coming undone, I went the more pastel colors. Um, they also have like gold and silver, I mean you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but I went just the four colors that represent fertility. Um, and then, I mean, you can get paper, cut it out. You can get, you know, like, this is a reel of moss. You can get that to go on the bottom. Um, you can get crystal chips to put at the bottom. We've got rose quartz, nude stone, and amethyst. Um, you can get, like, something to go on top. I actually put a butterfly on top of mine instead of a wreath. Um, you can get, there's like little eggs, these are like a dollar, you can get them and put them on top. I mean, you, the, the sky's the limit with this. You can be as simple or as creative as you want to be. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to make just a simple one, and you can elaborate from there and do whatever you like with it. Alrighty, so what we did to make this a little easier, um, Kevin pre-drilled a hole in this, and I think you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> oh you can! hope I show you. Uh, started a hole in the bottom of this one. So, take a little screw we got for ourselves. And 
gotta be crafty for this one. The screwdriver, and start the screw in there. Then, hold on a minute. This was easier earlier. It's easier when you have two people. But, my ha ha, check this out. Alrighty. Then you will screw your dowel and your star together to give you your base. Okay? And then from there, you guys can't really see where I'm at right now. Um, I think I have. Uh, that's okay. Alrighty, so then you're going to take your ribbon, and you can go as long as, or as short as you like. Um, a lot of times when people actually make these, on May Day, they end up going through and braiding them all the way to the bottom, so you might want to make them a little bit longer than the actual pole, but you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, take a nice chunk of ribbon, maybe something like this. What is that, maybe? Is that a little over a foot, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot my scissors! Kevin, I need scissors. Kevin's gotta go get me scissors. And he brought everything out here and not scissors, of course. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. Alright. So then you get the size you want. Mm, that works. Alrighty. Got your ribbon. Then we're going to take tacky glue. Now I tried this with super glue and I'm dumb because this was wood. Um, so this didn't end up working well with super glue. So tacky glue actually works very, very well. And put a dollop of that on top. <clears throat> and then go ahead and press down your ribbon. Just hold it for a couple seconds and then you can keep gluing. You don't have to wait for the first one to completely dry. So it'll look like that and it'll hang down. And then you will continue to glue them. And you can glue them as close together or as far apart as you like from the top. So I will be super magical. And oh, voila! See, so I actually did two of each color. Um, I spaced them apart about like that. I alternated colors, and then I put a uh, butterfly on top. I'm also going to take some of the moss, put it down below, um, put some crystals down at the bottom, and um, probably some of these little eggs as well. Um, but I mean, if you just wanted to go simple. This works just fine, and you have your makeshift maypole for the holiday. So, anyways, like I said, um, you can do whatever you'd like to do to be as creative or as simple as you want. They all work the same. Just make sure that when you're doing it, you put all the intention of the holiday and what you want to bring about in it. And I hope you guys have a great night. Have fun creating, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.